portion. Catch this, catch this. Can you ever say, God, God is still good. Portion is to divide into position. To share. They never say, God, you ain't got to give me nothing. God will share it with me. They never say, baby, you ain't got to give it to me. God will share it. Come, come on, stay place stuck up with yours. God will share it. They never say, never got the others, the Lord, and the fullness thereof. Say, I'm going to get my portion. Say, neighbor, God don't belong to you. He belongs to me, too. In fact, you're my sister. Come on up in here. And he's not selfish concerning his blessings. If you don't want me to be blessed, that's your business. God will still give it to me. If you don't like me, God will still bless me. That's your business. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you don't like it, that's your business. God's going to still bless me and prosper me. And you want me to bless you and prosper you, too. Why? Because you're going to get the double portion. Look at your neighbor I'm getting ready for the double portion. That's why you're going through what you're going through. Because the double portion is on the way. And all you got to do is stand before your mountain. You ain't climbing it. You ain't running from it. You're going to speak to it. Right. Right. You ain't going on no rough side of the mountain. You, no, you gonna, it's time you stand foot to it and speak to that mountain and command it to move on your way and be cast into the sea forever. Look at your neighbor I'm tired running up mountains. I'm too tired. I'm off of breath. I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. I ain't running up no more mountains. I'm too old to run up mountains. Speak to it. I know that's right. And let it be move out of your way. Here goes Elijah. Elijah, Elijah say, I gotta get back over the Jordan. Alright. Jesus. I gotta get back over. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, keep on being up in church. You need to get back over. Don't go in the world. Ain't nothing in the world for you. You need to get back to church. The songwriter said, I need to get back to Eden. We ain't going to Eden. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the songwriter. We're not going back to Eden. Jesus, could God done kick out Adam and Eve out of Eden and put the sherebans at the, at the gate, uh, uh, come on up of uh, the Garden of Eden, and we not going back on Eden and sit upon no world because uh, uh, Lucifer tried to sit upon the earth and God kicked him. He was the first flying saucer, so I know that boy get a song front. You are not going back to Eden. And sit on top of no world. And yet what inherited? If you don't live holy, you ain't gonna get no inherited. Amen. 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 Sure enough, disobedient. What you want to go back to Eden from? You ought to be going to heaven. Amen. Amen. You know, you know, used to be Eden. It's nothing there but share events. And God ain't gonna let nobody up in this garden no more. You got a place in heaven or hell. Amen. Let's get back to Eden and sit up on you ain't gonna sit on no world. You in the world now nah, ain't doing nothing with it. Ain't coming to church, ain't giving God time, ain't giving God worship. But he gonna let you sit upon his world. He done he done kicked Lucifer one time. So let God kick you. You ain't going on no Eden. You better get your double portion. Yes. So you're going to run this race with endurance, yes. with patience, yes. with long suffering, yes. with meekness and goodness so you can get to heaven. Because we're going to scarcely make it into heaven. The righteous going to scarcely make it into heaven. If you think church is a big hat and a fine dress and a long fingernails, hips and lips and fingertips and try to be cute and, and fine, you think church is all of that, you better get your heart right. Amen. Oh, come on. If your heart ain't in it, you ain't going to heaven. I don't care much tongue you speak. Speaking. And don't speak to your brothers or sister. You on your way to hell. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I need a double portion. Yes. But I can. But I can. I, I heard the young man song last night. We played that song till I'm ready to dance. One of them yeah. song impossible. Yeah. Come on. We hear that song. My God, the worship. Come on. The song just smoothed my spirit. You need to make up your mind that there's a mental that you're wearing and you don't even know what you're wearing. It. Ah. You know what a double mental was when Jesus said, I'm going back and I'm sent for you, the comforter. You got a mental in you, the Holy Spirit. Yes. What, you, what else are you looking for? Yeah. My God. My God. My God. Who else are you looking for? Jesus. And you get the kingdom of God within you. Yes. My God. Mm. Oh, she preached better than her. Oh, she. No, 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 no. You better get God for you. Amen. Amen. Promote God. Yeah. And stop promoting folks. Amen. Man, man will deceive you. Yes. You, know, you better start calling. Nobody call Jesus. Yes. Everybody call. Oh, I'm going to see so and so. Oh, I'm going to. So no, no. You, if you come to see so and so, you're going to miss Jesus. Because yeah. 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 all you're going to see is so and so. 
and you don't see Jesus. Look at your neighbor and say, I need my double portion. And I'm going to get mine. My double portion. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Say, neighbor. You ain't got to share. God already gave me the right to the tree of life. Say, you ain't got to celebrate me. He will. Say, neighbor, you ain't got to even... Because I already get a right to the tree of life. Whether you appreciate it or not, I got rights to the tree of life. I'm a citizen of heaven. I'm a join in. Oh, y'all didn't like that. Come on. I'm a join in. Yeah, Jesus. Look at your say, you better know who you are. I'm the light of the world. That's when you go to church and folks won't do right and agitate you and agitate you and mess you up and say, I don't believe these folks up in church sitting down and it's time for prayer. I called Mother Michael the other day. I say, Mother already. I say, I'm coming in Savannah and it's 12 noon day prayer and the mother's in on the altar. I called Mother Gail too. Her phone was on answering machine. But I told her piece of my mind on the phone. I know she read her answer. I said, I'm coming into Savannah, Georgia and nobody is on the altar. Nobody. Where's the mothers? How can you travel all the way to Columbia to hear me preach and, and your church, your door need to be open at 12 to 1, one hour prayer, and you, Mother Michael, say, ha ha, I laying in my bed sleeping. I rest up. I say, if you don't get your skin up there. <laughs> we out in the fields working and you laying up in bed when the mother's supposed to be on the altar. God looking for holy mothers. God looking for mothers that will hold on to the haunts of the altar. Somebody need to be in the church. Everybody don't need to be in bed. That's why God got you old. That's why God got you on social security. That's why God got you sitting pretty. Because every month you can collect your check. But God wants you, my God, to that altar. You know, you're you sitting pretty getting the money every month. Well, I got mine. They said that mine's coming every month. You know, be on the altar so it can keep coming. And you can live longer so you get an increase. An increase. Look at your heart. Yes, yes. Yes. Just laying up in bed, one o'clock, and, and, and twelve o'clock prayer supposed to be over. You need to know God preparing you for the double portion. Your double portion in Maxine Thomas. Amen. But Prophet Thomas ain't in church, so we can't be there. Ain't nobody preach like her. You better don't let no worms eat me up like them King Herod. That's right. Don't don't put me up on no pallet stone. You need to be in the presence of God. Right. You need to be in the presence of God. Whether your pastor in town or not, right. you need to be on the altar. That's Somebody, the church can't be closed. You need to be on the altar. That's the truth. Amen. What if God had called us to heaven? You're going to still be in bed? I call you from heaven and say, what are you doing? In bed? But I saw the, I saw the books of the heavenly book and your name not even recorded. <laughs> on the Lamb Book of Life. How would he like that? <laughs> wow. Tell the truth, it's shame the That's devil. That's dangerous. Look at you never say neighbor. God's preparing you for the double portion. You better start doing what God tell you to do. Elijah had a problem with anointing Elisha. That's why we get problems with prophets against prophets. Because the same thing with Saul against David. They were fighting each other from back then. Men of God. Amen. Mighty men of God. Had a problem with each other. Mm. And we got in the church today. Yeah. Yeah. So they say. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but it's time to shake yourself loose. I said, shake yourself loose. For what God is about to give you. Amen. Say, God's giving me the double portion. Amen. 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 Your last name, Watson? Come in. Wow. Come in, Ms. Watson. <laughs> Speak Holy Ghost. What's six or nine got to do with you? Six or nine. Six or nine.